In this lesson, we'll explore how to make your Divi website look great on every device using responsive editing and device previews. By default, the Divi Builder opens in desktop view. But with just a click, you can switch to tablet or mobile view using the icons in the top bar. This lets you see exactly how your layout will look on different screen sizes. If you've enabled additional breakpoints, you'll see those here as well, giving you even more control. When you're in tablet or mobile view, you can edit your design specifically for that device. For example, you might reduce the text size on mobile so a headline fits comfortably, or adjust spacing so a section doesn't feel too tall. Divi saves these settings just for that breakpoint, so your desktop design stays unchanged. In Divi 5, responsive controls are always easy to access. Instead of small phone icons next to each setting like in Divi 4, you'll now find the device options in two places either in the top bar or at the top of the settings panel next to the content, design, and advanced tabs. This makes it much clearer when you're adjusting a setting for a specific device. Let's try a quick example. I'll add a heading module and increase the headline size for desktop. When I switch to mobile, the text looks too large. I can reduce the size just for mobile. Now it looks perfect across all devices. You can also control visibility per device. In the Advanced tab, under Visibility, you'll see checkboxes to show or hide sections, rows or modules on desktop, tablet, or mobile. This gives you complete flexibility to create device-specific layouts if you need to. And of course, you can preview your design at any time. The Preview button in the top bar shows you the live page in a new tab, so you can test scrolling, animations, and responsive behavior just as your visitors will see it. Responsive editing and device previews are some of Divi's most powerful tools. They make sure your site not only looks good on desktop, but is also optimized for tablets and smartphones, where most visitors browse today. In the next lesson, we'll look at how to use hover mode to add interactive effects to your designs.